So, um, I'm Jen. I'm also Belle from Belladonna and Bones and Raheli from Belladonna and Bones. Magical names are kind of funny. Now, what I really wanted to do this year was be more me, you know, um, bring more me to the practice, um, not be so afraid of my professional life and um, my magical life colliding. It's a really difficult step um, and not everyone's there. Not everyone can be as out of the witch, out of the broom closet, you know. Um, it's unlucky. I'm at a certain point in my life and my career where I can choose to tell you my name is Jen um, and it all came about because I had a customer for Belladonna and Bones um, get confused and think there was more than one of me <laughs> um, and there's not there's just me um, it's and that's how I'm gonna go forward now this video you're seeing right now is a part of that going forward um, what I wanted to do was with the new moon make some changes and um, make a change to how I interact with my magical community oh, you're you're all such amazing people and when you reach out to me um, it's like it's the best feeling in the world to hear that you've been working with um, my balms and teachers or you've been listening to the podcast and I just I think that interaction is more important now than it ever has ever been we you know we're everyone in the world is talking about community when we're all in isolation it's it's a symptom we all want to be closer together when we all have to be further apart it's the new moon in Taurus um, it's very close to um, Uranus in Taurus um, great newsletter from Kelly Surtees this morning um, talking about the new moon and how it's part of a seven-year cycle and it's a good time to activate anything you know that you want to change in your life and I thought you know what it's just right it's this is that's exactly right for me and where I'm at right now um, you know it's the new moon we're all doing um, magic if you're that way inclined I guess um, but and there's so much to do but still I wanted to get a daily video to you guys where I talk about what I'm doing um, and what magic is happening something about Kelly's email really struck me today and it was when everything changes change everything and for me that's been part of an ongoing process the last 12 months um, and really finding that all of that is starting to come together um, the magical ceramics the um, you know the extension of belladonna and bones the courses that i'm working on for you guys and webinars um that's all coming together and this getting in front of the camera actually in front of the camera um because i tend to hide behind it or beside it and let you only see my hands um is a really important part of that so that's why i'm here um as you know, today's the new moon. That means it's day one of the Higromantic lunar cycle, um, which is the best day to do things. It's also a Thursday, Jupiter. We work really hard today. There are so many things to get done. Um, it's also a great day if you're considering Ivy from Circle Thrice's lunar lunation, right? It's a great day to start that. 
But you know what? Any day is a great day to start that. Grab it. It's not very expensive. Do your first ritual as soon as you have it. Don't worry. If, wait. Don't wait for the next morning. Start now. Um, even if you can't get the incense and stuff going on, read through it. Read through the ritual. Don't wait to start things. That's the key message of this video. Don't wait. Just start. With the new moon, there's a lot of bottling to be done. Um, a lot of next steps in certain magical processes. Some I can show you and talk about and some I can't. Um, if you've been on my Instagram, um, the Bella Donna and Bones Instagram, you will have seen that the I've been draining a mugwort tincture and calcining the um, the mark, so the leftover herbs, um, and they'll continue to calcine and then be put back into a certain part of that tincture. Um, I don't do, I don't turn all of the tincture into a spagyric, um, an alchemical spagyric, because obviously this is just different uses for different things. So some of that will go through to an alchemical spagyric, which I will then produce. And if I feel that it's potent and um, has the correct energies for what I want it to, I will then put it in the store. Um, so that's been a big part of today. Um, there's been some seedlings come up. We've had some clarious age seedlings pop up. Um, Ella campaign seedlings and things. Those will go over winter into the greenhouse. Um, we're at sort of 19 degrees Celsius um, daytime temperature here at the moment. Overnight lows are about 10. Um, so it's not really too chilly for the seedlings yet. Um, so what will happen is I'll put those into the greenhouse as they come up and um, I'll do another video on starting seedlings. Um, I think it will actually be part of a webinar series on magical gardening. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts or requests for that. Um, other parts of the new moon are just really reaching out and connecting to people. Um, been talking to Rue. Well, we're going to record a podcast tomorrow, hopefully. Um, she's been moving and have had no internet, as you would have seen in my handbag video, which I've just uploaded. Um, I recorded that about three, four weeks ago and didn't upload it because I just wasn't sure. Um, and then just kept getting hit over the head with the just start. And then this email from Kelly today was just um, another whack over the head, the final whack over the head that I required to do it. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about. Um, otherwise you'll just get updates on the magic um, and the ceramics and the garden and everything else. Um, I just wanted to reach out. You're all wonderful and I love having you all as part of the community and yeah, it's just, I can't wait to communicate and talk with you all more. See you.